Glennon, give up the... Ivan, I'm into the network. We must act fast, comrades, and use the password before they find us. Give me three. Hack into the cameras and microphones to uh, monitor server room data. That idiot gave us all the emails we need to fish the entire DNC staff. It was only a matter of time before someone fell for it. Okay, give me one second, comrade. Okay, accessing data now. Emails and documents are being downloaded. They won't know what it in until we start downloading the files. But when we do, we have to act fast. It was good thinking making that Excel sheet, comrade. We need to move quickly. Downloading documents and emails from DNC. Shit! We need to move fast! Suga beyond! Hello, sir. The DNC is currently being hacked. Oh, okay. Yes, this is a big deal. You need to get on it now. Yeah. I'm on vacation, but... Uh, gunshots, gunshots, gotta go, gotta go, bye! Did this dude just hang up on me? no easy way to say this. There was a data breach, and they got all the emails. Uh, what do they know? Everything. So how do we proceed? Not sure, but this could cost Hillary the election if it gets out. We're not going to be in contact until after the convention. Likely our form of communication will be revealed. The DNC can't handle a scandal like this, especially before the convention. Goodbye. Once this is over, we will contact you again. Wait, how do we stop this so it doesn't come out? Hello? How do we spin this so that it doesn't cost us the nomination? Can we air an ad or make a statement? We can air an inoculation ad in an attempt to keep it quiet. A simple inoculation ad is the last thing we want to do. It establishes guilt, like, and raises awareness for the issue. Even if we did air one, the content of many of those emails would overshadow whatever we say. I think it's best to wait until after the convention, and then we handle it from there. We can attempt to schedule press conferences to put down this idea before it spreads like wildfire. What if we do nothing and hope that it doesn't become a big story? No, doing nothing is not an option. The horse race media polls have us as favorites, but that could change with this information. We are set to get the nomination, but we don't know how this will affect the nomination. May I suggest that we do nothing? I think that we're more likely than not, it's not going to be a major issue. By stopping it from growing, we might very well make it a high priority issue, and the media might attack us more for it. I think that we just keep our mouth shut and hope. Alright, um, in the end it's the DNC that is bio, so in the end of the day we're not going to be hit hard. Now, top of the hour, we are bringing you a breaking news segment. We're the first station to cover the new re newly released private emails by Secretary Hillary Clinton and other high DNC officials just released by WikiLeaks this morning. These emails have contained troubling information about the independence between primary election campaigns and the Democratic National Convention. Much of this information released shows troubling attacks on Senator Bernie Sanders' campaign, 
such as discussing the idea of shaming Saracen's religion in states that have a high population of Christians. Questions are still being asked of how much a role the DNC played in helping Hillary's campaign and team, and how it affected Bernie's chance of receiving the nomination in the Democratic uh, primary. Several days before the Democratic primary election, one must think of how this will affect Secretary Clinton's chance of winning the primary and Senator Sanders as well. Before this, we knew Hillary was likely going to receive it, but how does this change anything? Now, we do not know the current polls of the American people, but one must question the scandal will have any impact on the national convention and nomination of Hillary Clinton. A question swirling around the air about who orchestrated the attack is, at the time, we only know the basics of the attack, and we will update you continuously as we receive more information. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Channel 5 News. All right, what do we have now? Well, <laughs> what can we do? The public knows that Debbie Washerman Schultz, the committee chair, was biased towards the Hillary Clinton team. I have to agree with this. It does not look good for her. I'm not sure there's a way to spin this. Deflecting might be our best option in this case, or distracting the American people, a more entertaining issue. Uh, yeah, there's no way to spin Hillary's team being in control of the DNC before she got the nomination. The Hillary team controlled our finances, our staffing, almost every aspect of the party. And that's not even to mention the joint fundraising agreement we had with the Hillary team. You know, the agreement that basically served as a workaround for campaign finance limits? It allowed her donors to exceed the $2,700 individual limit. It allowed her to funnel money with no practical limit. Uh, she did it by funneling the money through 32 states who were part of the Victory Fund Agreement. Uh, each state had a $10,000 cap. Um, if you multiply that times 32 states, that 30, that's $32,000. $320,000 cap. Now, how do we spend that? You're forgetting about 30,000 national party limit contribution limit. So it would be about a $350,000 cap. It wasn't just finances. Hillary had debate questions leaked to her. And then there was a plan to atheist shame Bernie Sanders in West Virginia. Oh, and trying to reduce polling centers in Rhode Island, something that would help Hillary's chances in that state. Not to mention those emails with the DNC, DNC staff, who shall remain nameless, <clears throat> uh, calling Bernie and his team not serious, and how they didn't understand the party values. We need a way out of this. It's not going to go away by itself. We need to obfuscate some of this. Instead of having the news and the news focus of the actual substance of the leaks, we make the story be about the hackers instead. How about these hacks were purposeful to hurt Hillary's chances? It's not going to be enough. We need to do something more drastic. Thank you for tuning in at the top of the hour. We have new information to shed light on the Hillary attacks uh, from the DNC. We have received breaking news from the DNC that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the head chairwoman at the DNC, has resigned amid accusations of bias towards the Clinton campaign. The story has greatly expanded from what seems to be foreign ha hackers from Russia, which is what the government has been telling us, that hacked Hillary's emails as well as emails from other high-profile uh, officials from th within the Democratic National Committee. This hack has been a wider impact than we initially realized. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Channel 5 News.